All right. Well, there we be. So I can't last very long at all when I when I get my wood in the yard. I just it's not something I I'm very good at saving. <laughs> you know what I mean, friends? Like once it's here, it's like it's here. I start going. But I want to talk about something for just a second. And what that is, to be honest, friends, is kind of like chopping block or no chopping block. Well, friends, because I like my axes more now than I ever have, um, and, and I want to talk about two things, grain orientation and a handle, and actually defect, and a chopping block or no chopping block. That is up to you. But I'll tell you something. I'm going to suggest a couple things to you. You're going to do what you're going to do, especially the older guys like me and older. We're stuck in our ways. We've been doing it for so long that it, even if someone tries to show us something, we're, we're some of us, I'm, I'm saying, are hard to change because it's worked to this point. We enjoy it. It's good. We think it's effective which it probably is to a point, but the, the, never mind all that. It's how you're feeling when you're doing it, right? The, I gotta get a new chopping block. This one's toasted. But my, my point is, friends, in production, I don't use a chopping block. I, I'm just, I, you, I have a little technique that I use that, and I, and I can show you that technique um, here if you like, on the ground. I, I don't use a chopping block, friends. I just don't. I have this little thing I do with the ax. Hey. Hey. Did you just see what happened to the ax? Especially, like that's straight grain. It's easy splitting wood. If I just go like, and go straight through, I'm going to have that ax destroyed and not destroyed, but the bit is going to be all dented and I'm going to be filing it all the time. Well, that's where this comes in handy. The chopping block. Uh, uh, I find I lose power with it, with a chopping block, no matter how this is kind of a shorter block, which I like, but friends, I need to have an ax that I can like, so this is the nice thing about a chopping block. But, but the problem with it is, is a lot of energy gets kind of wasted in my mind, right? Like that, for instance. Now you'll say, oh, well, you should have a tire. Get a spare tire. No, I, I'm not at that stage of my life yet. Maybe down the road I will when I'm old and moving like this and I grab something and I go stick it up. Because how are you going to get it into the tire? Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be bending down. I'm going to be going like this. Right, I'll be going like that and I'll put it in the tire. That's why an ax with a proper edge is important. I'm not going to bend down like that. I'll have a tool, a wood hook or something, but look at how easy this wood is to split. This is not what this is. This video is not about the wood or how easy it is. Okay, did you see what I just did there? Did you see what just happened? It all split. I knew it was going to all split. That's why it didn't matter to me what happened there. But here I am now like this, right? I'm down here. So friends, you know me. This is me. Right? Look at this one. Look at this, friends. Look at that knot right there. So what does the guy do with that? Well, I'll show you what, what doesn't work. So if you want to know what just happened there, I'll show you what just happened. This is a big knot. My first couple bouncers were close to the knot, was right there, waste of energy completely. The second one actually broke the knot a little bit. I heard it crack and I was down further, furthest away from the knot where the knot starts to actually get small. So that was that program, okay? so. 
There, this is very knotty wood. There's another one right there. Okay. So there we go. There it is. Done. So I guess what I'm saying, friends, is you're going to do what you're going to do. We all are. But I'm saying get an axe that complements your style. Right? Get an axe that complements your style. Um, I, I don't, I, I'm not a huge guy on all this, this, uh, grain orientation's got to be straight up and down. I, I'm not in that camp because all the wood that is wasted or guys go through to, in order to get you a straight grain handle. Yes, it's what they say to do, but friends, again, I've got axes in there, long handled horizontal, completely horizontal, friends, that I'm still beating the snot out of on a regular basis. You know what the interesting thing is, friends? Is if you've got energy to try and prove your point and, and say that this is, uh, this is the way they say to do it and this and that, and well, you could actually be splitting wood with that energy that you're spending on trying to be right. I, excuse me, I, I've said it a thousand times and then I will say it a thousand more. Have your own experience. If you're wondering about axe handles and grain orientation, search for defects in the wood. Search for bad runout. Some runout is actually not bad depending on where it's at in the handle, depending on the length of your handle. If you've got runout in a 19 inch handle, buy it. It doesn't matter, friends. It's the longer handles where you have to be careful. I'm telling you, you guys know my freaking, my girl axe. It's a piece of ash with completely horizontal, it's like a leaf spring, friends. I call it the leaf spring axe, the tuxedo axe. That thing's still going strong. <laughs> and I, I, I'm very mean to that axe friends okay so so if you want the just just have your own experience but when you're looking for axe handles look for really bad run out and defect like just search the handle if it's got a 45 i love 45 degree inch uh, uh degree handles i do i love them do you know why they actually say and if you think about wood and know about wood and have worked with wood and understand how grain works and what, do you know what I mean? Like what grains are, like a, the, the leaf spring effect is hands down is a real thing. It's a real thing. Put it this way, friends, a two by four, right? On edge or, or not on edge, on, on the flat. S put it across, uh, say an eight, an eight foot two by four. Put it across a, a two ladders and try and walk on it like scaffolding. You'll bust it right through. Put it on edge right? Put it on edge. You walk an elephant across that. I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. I'm just saying, that's why oblong is nice in your handles. Round handles are great. They are, but I like an oblong, oblong edity because the oblongness of it, for starters, that's how our hands are shaped. Our, our hands aren't round by nature. They're, they're oblong. When we, when we close our fists, they're oblong. So it's a natural progression for the human hand. It's just not my experience, friends, okay? That's all I can tell you. It's not my experience about straight up and down grain. Are they, is it strongest that way? Probably, yeah, probably. But who's using the ax? Like, like this handle actually scares me a little bit and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why this handle scares me. If you look at this ax, you look at the grain on it, okay? Let, let's see if we can get this make, actually make this work. Look at the grain. See how it kind of straight, but it curves. It takes off, takes off to the left top there. Now check this out. Look at this. Look at the wood right here, how it, th this scares me right here. Okay. Look at this. The grain's all funky here. It is. It's a very interesting handle. There's another kind of a, a thing. I had one of these break on me. Now I don't know what's going to happen here, but we are going to find out.
We are going to find out. Friends, it's wood. So, you see what I mean about the chopping block? I'm just showing that you can do you can do whatever you want. Do what's funnest. Do what's most enjoyable. I don't use a block a lot. I'm just showing how I use one today, right? I'm still gonna hit the wood like this. This, this, this. Did you see what I did? I'm still gonna go like that. I just am. But if I don't, if, if the wood calls for a straight slam, if, if the wood calls for that, like if I'm trying to bust through a knot, then what I do, because there is actually a knot here, so let's do this. I put my block at the end there. Not here, because if I go through, I still have the chance of missing and coming into my shin. So what, does I do? what I do is I bend the knees a little and I come out here so that when I go through, through I'm in the block. See, so look where this ended up, friends. Could you imagine if, if this was out here? Went like that? Look it, it went like that? Look it, it's almost on the end. So I'm just saying, and I'll show you this right now. There you go. That was at the bottom. So yeah, just, just sharing some, some stuff with you today, friends. That's it. Now. So here I go now. This has got a huge knot in it. So we find where the knot is. It's actually at the top. So I'm going to kick this over like this. Like this. And I'm going to crack it like that. See what happened? Right there. Firewood piece. Now I don't really have a chance, a choice, because I've got to crack this this way now, right? Did you just see what happened to the app? I sure did. So I don't need to use a chopping block with that technique. I just don't need to. Um, but it's here, sometimes I'll kick it over. Why not? It's there. I use every technique, everything I can. Here we go. This is why I like an ax to stick into the wood. See that what I just done there? Okay. Have your own experience, friends. Don't, you know, believe nothing, question everything. So this is an axe, it's a Tazzy. Here's a massive knot right here. Huge. Look at this thing, friends. Yeah, look at this. This is sketchy. Great big knot. What am I going to do? Well, I don't, I definitely don't need the chopping block. See? Look at this. Look at that. What, what are we gonna do with that? I know. The, this handle's beautiful that I I sent to the, the lathe, friends. It is. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's it's not really it's it's just a beautiful in-between. Um like it I'm friends, I'm not joking you. I love it.
I love it. 31 inch. Look at this, friends. Look at that. You think we're you think we're going anywhere with that? Look at. <laughs> I mean, so there comes a time. Oh, did you see that? I actually, squeeze that right out of there. There comes a time when it's time to dissect that you may have to get the chopping. Uh, see, look, look at this. So, so you saw what I just done there, right? I took a piece off there. Um, I got, I got to be honest, friends. I, I don't see this getting much further. Look, you see what's going to happen. It's going to peel down and go around there, which is fine, but I would rather bust the knot in half at this stage, right? Okay, that actually worked out quite nice. We busted the, a nice little chunk of firewood off that sucker right there. And actually, I can get that in my stove right there. I can get that in my stove. Look where the knot went. It's at the bottom. That's why I put my knots at the bottom, friends. That's, that's why I do that. I don't have them at the top. Okay, this is a huge knot now. I would get lucky if I broke another piece off of this through the knot. I would, I would get lucky. Yeah, see, we're getting into the meat of it now. I, I probably could get this. I don't even need to, but I mean, it's not, it's not a, it's not a must friends. Look at that. That is incredible. Look at. <laughs> Can you see that, friends? Can you actually see that? That is very interesting. Right? Run with your knots. You can see where the ax actually slammed right into the knot right there. That's a nighttime burner right there. That's it. And I will burn that. Took another piece off it. Made it, made it even smaller, friends. Look, it's all knot now. It's all knot. Could even shank this off a little bit right here. There we go. It's all knot right there. That's it for now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that'll be next after this. We are in December, late, late December. So we probably got another couple months there, which will be 
Oh, what'll that be? February, right? March, April, May, over there. See? So, we're good. Straight up good. And that's dry. That is dry. That's dead. Wood. So I'm very happy that that tree came along when it did because it gave me a little bit of insurance because we had a little bit, of, I think we're supposed to have a little bit of a colder winter. So friends, one ax, if I was gonna have one ax, gosh. I, I, I think it would be something along this line here. That one there, four pounds, four and a half pounds. Uh, three and a half is just too light sometimes, but if it was gonna be a three and a half pound ax, th this friends, this here, <laughs> That, that right there, that axe is 1,000% a splitting beast, okay? It's a splitting, it's for the big stuff. That is the original wood bullet right there. Tazzy in the middle, a little short-handed Tazzy, and then the old-fashioned bucking. It's not my axe. It's, it's an old axe that I that I love and it is crazy like crazy mm -hmm. so when I say you know like it's not the axe that makes the, the fella it's the fella that makes the axe let's not forget it this I like because of this right there. See that? I'm able, the wood bullet is, is designed differently, friends, than a lot of axes. See that? Okay. And then we get our knot. Right? There it is. There's our knot. You can see it there. Hey, I, I found the knot. It's right there. Okay. I'm telling you, this wood bullet's nutsoid. If you're looking for one axe, friends, to do the deed for you, that's up to you. I don't know where you live. I don't know what your wood's like. But all the axes I swing, pretty much, are profiled like this. This one's crazy. Like, there's a Tazzy, worn out short Tazzy. And here's what I built. And here's what I designed. This right here, that is my design. That's it. And it's nuts. This ax is incredible, actually. It's sharp enough to throw wood around, whereas this one is sharp, but it's not it it gets fatter. So friends, I just received a set of sticks in the mail by a nice fella or fell at I don't even actually know but they kind of are interesting we just got home from supper I, and uh, they're they're interesting they're uh, Promark uh, Promark a very popular line 